There have been some incredible recent discoveries that have left us reeling and excited. From the new photos of a black hole to the new life in the Antarctic Ocean, there are a lot of amazing discoveries that have left us in awe. In this video, we'll explore some of these recent discoveries. Do you know that a supermassive black hole lies at the heart of our galaxy? Scientists think that a supermassive black hole exists at the center of virtually every galaxy, including our own. These black holes operate as anchors, binding galaxies together in space. We will discuss this in detail later in the video. So, without any further delay, let's start. First, we will discuss the recent new photos of space. Following the publication of the deepest, cleanest infrared vision of the cosmos ever recorded by the James Webb Space Telescope, the United States Space Agency has published additional detailed photos acquired by the James Webb Space Telescope. The photographs from Webb, a joint project of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the world's giant and most powerful space telescope, have heralded the start of a new era in astronomy, according to NASA. One of the images published on Tuesday morning showed a cloud of dust and light rays encircling a dying star known as the Southern Ring Nebula, which is about 2,500 light years from Earth. At the same time, another revealed a galaxy cluster known as Stefan's Quintet. The $9.7 billion Webb Observatory was built to see past the cosmos to the beginning of the known universe, ushering in a new age of scientific discovery. NASA chose the initial set of full-color, high-resolution photographs, which required weeks to produce from raw telescope data to give intriguing early images from Webb's core areas of interest and a preview of future research missions. The Webb Telescope launched on December 25, 2021 from French Guiana on South America's northeastern coast. It arrived at its ultimate location 1.6 million kilometers 1 million miles, beyond Earth less than a month later. Webb spent six months unfurling its different components, positioning mirrors, and calibrating sensors once there, and further findings are anticipated to be revealed in the following weeks. Now, let's talk about the new dinosaur egg that has been found. Paleontologists in Argentina have unearthed the new dinosaur species with unusually short arms, similar to Tyrannosaurus rex. Maraxis gigas, as the new dinosaur has been named, was discovered in what is now Argentina's northern Patagonia area, revealing that the beast was 11 meters, 36 feet long, and weighed more than 4 tons. According to Juan Canale, the project's leader, the location would have been hot and humid at the time, with many streams and flora, including massive trees. According to the research, the carnivore belongs to the Cacarodontosauridae dinosaur family, which existed between 145 and 66 million years ago. In the last 30 years, a slew of Cacarodontosauridae fossils have been discovered, although nothing is known about their skull, forearms, or feet. That is altered due to the finding of M. gigas, a remarkably intact fossil. The discovery of a nearly entire forelimb enabled researchers to infer that M. gigas had small arms for such a giant dinosaur, a physical characteristic shared with T. rex that has long perplexed paleontologists. They also discovered a nearly entire skull and foot, shedding information on how this group of dinosaurs developed. According to Canale, there was a tendency toward more significant body proportions, larger heads, and smaller arms in relation to the body. According to the story, M. gigas originated independently of T. rex and fell extinct over 20 million years before T. rex inhabited the world. Canale claims that their bone structures were substantially different, whereas both dinosaurs had huge heads and little arms. According to Canale, the progenitors of M. gigas had longer arms and smaller heads, and their arms would have been helpful in hunting. Previous studies have discovered that dinosaurs like M. gigas and T. rex evolved reduced limbs as their skulls became bigger. According to Canale, this demonstrates that the arms were not employed for hunting and instead used their heads to kill their prey. According to Canale, the fossil demonstrates that although the arms were small, they were strong, and the chest muscles were also highly developed. If you like this video so far, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel. Preview. Next, we will talk about the first ever photo of a black hole. Astronomers have released the first photograph of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. This discovery gives compelling proof that the object is a black hole and provides vital insights into the workings of such massive objects, which are assumed to dwell at the center of most galaxies. 
The picture was created by the Event Horizon Telescope EHT, collaboration, a multinational research team that used data from a global network of radio telescopes. The picture is a long-awaited peak at the massive object at the heart of our galaxy. Previously, scientists saw stars circling something unseen, compact, and huge at the center of the Milky Way. This strongly indicated that the object, known as Sagittarius A, is a black hole, and today's photograph gives the first direct visible proof of this. Although we cannot see the black hole because it is utterly dark, the luminous gas around it displays a telltale signature, a dark center area known as a shadow encircled by a light ring-like structure. The new vision catches light distorted by the black hole's tremendous gravity, which is 4 million times more massive than our sun. Because the black hole is roughly 27,000 light years distant from Earth, it seems to be about the size of a donut on the moon in the sky. To visualize it, the researchers developed the powerful EHT, which joined eight existing radio observatories worldwide to form a single Earth-sized virtual telescope. The EHT studied Sagittarius A numerous nights, capturing data for many hours in succession, much like a camera with a more extended exposure period. The last discovery we are going to discuss is the Mammoth Tusk. Researchers found a Colombian Mammoth Tusk 185 off the coast of California. Scientists believe the tusk, discovered at a depth of roughly 10,000 feet, is well over 100,000 years old. In 2019, Haddock and MBARI submersible pilot Randy Prickett were investigating the deep waters off California with a remotely controlled vehicle when they came upon a peculiar object, a three-foot-long tube that resembled a tusk. The two attempted to retrieve the item but were only able to acquire a little portion that had first broken off from the tip. Researchers deduced from this portion that the artifact was a female mammoth tusk. We were just flying along and I looked down and said, that's a tusk. Randy Prickett, a senior ROV pilot at the institution, said. Although not everyone initially believed him, Mr. Prickett persuaded his colleagues to take a closer look. I replied, if we don't get this right now, you'll be sorry. Haddock and Prickett returned to the site two years later with a team of paleontologists and genetic specialists. This time, they recovered the complete tusk using the ROV's robotic arm, encrusted in a thick black crust of naturally formed iron manganese. The DNA was recovered from the tusk's inner tissue by the scientists. The team established the mammoth's species, sex, death age, and geographic distribution throughout its lifespan. The discovery's findings have not yet been published. This brings us to the end of our video. Don't be afraid to suggest future videos in the comments section below.